Hello, little buddy. You're on TV. Hey, guys, this is Schism, and welcome back to Hermitcraft Feed the Beast. We have a little friend with us. We have a little friend. These guys are awesome. When I first looked into Golomancy, uh, I didn't think it was that cool. But I am sorely, sorely mistaken. Check this out. Where's my wand at? Oh, my wand's in this thing. Right click him. Boom. You got him as an item. This is an Iron Golem Guardian classified strong. Um, the golems are so sweet. Watch what happens. If I put this guy down, we're going to go outside and find some paisan to fight, you know? Here, hang on. Uh, I think there was a dude over here. Well, it looks like everyone might have despawned. But anyway... <clears throat> Excuse me. These guys just kick ass. They act like the little, like the big golems. Like they just go over and like throw their arms up at people and just kick their asses. Um, and uh, yeah, this guy in particular will... I'm, look, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm looking for someone. Yeah, there's no one out there. This guy in particular will guard a specific area. So if I pop him down... Oops, there he is. Look, so now he's sitting here, and he's just going to chill in this area. And he's got an effective range of, I think, about 10 blocks. Now, if I right-click him, he says, I will protect this area from any hostile monsters, Master. You don't have to call me Master. It's all right, you can call me Steve. Or Schism. <laughs> Dude, the door. Why? Okay, back up. Go through. Okay, back up. Back up. Close the door, open the door, close the door, open the door, walk through. Great. Um, so I've just kind of been keeping him down here for right now because I'm, I'm down here a lot and I want to keep, uh, I want to, you know, hang out with him. But we are going to, and I, I might have over-promised a little bit yesterday when I said that we're going to have uh, something fully set up. <clears throat> and I'll get to why I may have over-promised in a second. Um, in my Hermitcraft yesterday, I said that we may have like a fully automated farm going in Thomcraft, and that is not the case. We're not going to have fully automated yet, but we're going to get our steps uh, to it. We're going to we're going to get close today, and then we're going to set up like the whole design of it uh, probably for next episode. Here's the problem. Here's why. Uh... Actually, you know what? No, let me get started. So I have on my person right now. I have two. Uh, golem animation cores for intelligence and I have some straw on me or some wheat so what I can do is I can go over here to this and pop these two bad boys up here boop, 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 boop. and now I need apple and animus so I think I have I might have some of that already these things are great uh, I kind of if you get into Thalmcraft, you need to start early with the uh, Arcane Olympics. It was stupid. I don't know why I didn't have four of them set up. Um, but it's fantastic now that you do. Because then you get all the extras. All the extra juicy goodness. Um, animus, 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 animus. I think I may have a wisp that focuses in that. No. No, I needed... The apple stuff is easy. I need four... Hang on, eight. So I can throw up four of these and get eight, but I wouldn't even want to. But, but I need eight because I'm doing two of them. So you're boiling. We got 16 of you in there. So we're uh, going to be good on that front in a second. Now I just need the Animus. What else is Animus? I know the Soul Sand is, but I don't have enough Soul Sand. So, give me a second, give me a second. We'll see if we can pull it together, and if not, I'll make a cut. Why am I stuck on that light? These <laughs> lights that are now floating. Um, bu -bu 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 crap. How do you not have any animal parts in you, leather? Okay. Alright. Everyone stay cool. Everyone stay cool. Everyone... Day. Cool. See, I don't want to just use the wispy essences because they only get one for each one. And those things are not that they're difficult to come by. The wisps are kind of pushovers. 
just annoying. So, do, 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 do. okay, yeah, this is uh, taking a little too long for my liking. We're gonna make a cut. I'll be back here in a second when I got all the ingredients. Okay, so it turns out the path of least resistance was indeed getting the soul sand. The problem is, there is a problem in paradise here. Holy crap, dude. I've just been walking around like random pigmen are attacking me. As soon as I came through my portal here, this one dude was just up in my face. And then I managed to actually lure him back through the portal. So I'm pretty sure he's at my house right now, pissed off. Alright, this is going to be weird. I just went down, uh, like... Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. Shit. See? Alright, well, you are... You're done, buddy. You're done. Um, that's weird. I don't know if what's going on with that. Because, <laughs> like, some pigmen were totally fine with me, and other pigmen were hating me, and it was they were very far away from each other. So I did not understand that one bit. Um, okay. There's also a weird noise. It's not a whisper-related noise. That's the whisp noise. There's like a ch noise that's happening. That, that noise, you hear that? Maybe it is the wisps? I don't know. I heard it over here a lot. That noise. Yeah, see, I can't... I don't know what that is. I don't know what that noise is. It's kind of bugging me. Alright. So, anyway, we have what we need, finally, after... After a little... Run-in with some... With some bad dudes. So we should be able to... Here we go. Straw golem worker, smart. Now what a straw golem worker does is he takes his his operating area, which again is about you know ten blocks, um, and he will uh, harvest and replant crops. So obviously, well, well, here's the thing: a straw golem worker will harvest crops. And a smart golem worker, a smart straw golem worker, will replant them. So here's the deal. Let me just explain this to you just real quick. Let me head back down here for one second. When you make a golem, you have to make... The first thing you have to make is this thing called the... Where is it? The golem animation core. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have to make a golem animation core. It's four bricks around Nitor. Um, then what you can do with the golem animation core is you can take that and put it on top of different materials in an X shape. And if you use this great wood, you'll get a wood golem worker. Um, and if you use like other materials like straw, got me the straw golem worker, and you can use clay, and you can use stone, and you can use tallow. And this guy's made out of iron, which is why he's a fighter. But all these other guys have different tasks and different things they can do. So I made the straw ones, which are farmers, um, and they're smart, which increases their range, but also for straw golem workers, no, I'm sorry, I don't think it increases the range, but it allows them to replant the crops. Now what I think I'm going to need here, oops, hello, what I think I'm going to need here is, um, and I'm going to have to, you know, redo this farm, I might have to, I don't want to take that tree out, we'll leave that, but I'm going to have to expand over here and kind of level out some of this, and is this... Yeah, where's the actual ravine start? Over here. I also don't want to plant on top of a ravine. <laughs> it just seems weird, but maybe we'll do it anyway. Um, so I should be able to put this guy down, and he you can put him down anywhere. And he will... Yeah. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Look, and he replanted. Everything he... He didn't do that one. Now he's over here. Okay. Now you're going over here. Okay. <laughs> but look, he replanted the potatoes. He replanted the, the bread or the wheat. He replanted the, the flax. He replanted the cactus. 
Oh, look at him go. Yep. Oh, man. He's doing... So he'll do all of this stuff. He, there's a list of items that they can and cannot replant. Or, uh, I'm sorry, a list of things that they can and cannot even harvest. And there is, like, no pattern at all to what he's doing. He's just all over the place. Let me get up here. Yeah, dude, he's just booking around. I wonder if hostile mobs attack them. I'm pretty sure they repair themselves, too, which is awesome. But look, check it out. Even though he will replant, he will not pick up any of these items. So everything just kind of lays around on the ground. So what I need to do is I need to also set up uh, a wood golem worker. Because a wood golem worker uh, will... You put him on a chest. And anything... He'll, he'll look in an area around his chest. And he will pick up anything at all. And take it back to that. So I'm going to... There's a, there's a whisper over there. Yeah, see, the whips are, uh, like, they're not, they're, they're just, they're, they're spawning, but they're not mad. They're spawning, they just chill out, so I'm cool with that. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be awesome, guys. We're gonna be able to make some sweet farm setups. I think what I'm gonna have is, yeah, we're gonna have to go this way with the farms for sure. Um, I think what I might have is, like, in the center block, I might have the wood golem worker chilling. Uh, are the wood golem like looking out and hold growth grab all this stuff and run back these guys apparently like this is cool if they do this i'm fine with them like running around doing whatever the hell they want um but i gotta figure out some like cool setup for the f uh for the farms themselves so yeah guys this is gonna be so awesome let me get him back oops i don't have my wands you need a wand to retrieve the oops did i what did i do what did i do what did i do i just planted the second guy crap hang on what kind of wizard does not have his wand with him where'd you go dude nope you're doing it <laughs> that's good to know you shooting me so they'll do nether war too <clears throat> gotcha. Sweet. I wonder if they hurt themselves on the cactus. That'd be good to know. So yeah, we have a couple things to figure out right now. We have to figure out farm setup and the logistics of the golem placement. So, I'm going to see how long this is. I definitely want to get this up today on Sunday. It's uh, like 11 o'clock in the morning my time right now. And I definitely want to get this up for you today. So, we'll see how long this is. This might end up being a little bit of a shorter guy. Um, oh, yeah. Here's why. Here's why this isn't this isn't like totally ready. And Oh, another wisp. This guy's green. The other one was white. Yeah, here's why this isn't uh, totally ready for you guys. Me and my friend played Resident Evil 6 last night. What the fuck? What's happening over here? Be cool. Everyone's cool. Why are there explosions over here? Weird. Uh, yeah, so me and my friend were playing Resident Evil 6 last night. Resident Evil 6 is hands down one of the worst games I've ever played in my entire life. I'm a huge fan of the Resident Evil series. Resident Evil 2 was one of, one of my favorite games for a long time. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is... Re 2 was up there for a while, but then 2 got bumped out by, like, you know... 2 was when I was younger, and then all these other great games came out. And then 4 took Resident Evil's spot back in my, like, my top 10 or so, you know? And 4 is one of my favorite games, like, of total, of all time. Um, I still love two, but four is just way up there, way up there as a favorite game. You know what? I'll put this guy back down. 
I let him run around. He's just so cute doing it. Let's do two. See how quick they are. See if they get pissed off at each other at all. Um, so, yeah. Four, two was one of my... Two, I loved two. Four was one of my all-time favorites. Uh, probably still is. Haven't played in a while, though. Uh, here's the problem. Five was messy, but it was still enjoyable to play. It wasn't a Resident Evil game by any stretch of the imagination. It was, became like an action game that was still in the Resident Evil universe. Um, but six is a piece of crap. A complete piece of crap. <clears throat> Me and my friend were playing it last night. We couldn't figure out basic game mechanics. The game was so screwed up, we had to play the intro twice. I played it once, and he played it once. And apparently, like, there's a tutorial in the intro. We didn't learn anything from that piece of crap tutorial. Play this game once. Rent it. No, don't. Uh, yeah. Do not buy it new. Do not buy this game new. Either rent it or borrow it from a friend. I bought it used. Don't even buy it used. It's worthless. Um, can I? Can I? On this guy? No. Um, the controls are terrible. The gameplay is awful. The gameplay mechanics are the pro even worse. Trying to figure out like how your inventory works and um, like there's these this shit that happens in the game where it's like you know a, like an event like a train comes. And the train comes, and there's no quick time event, and there's no, like, you know, there's no way to know that you have to dodge this train other than getting hit by it once and knowing where not to be, you know? And, like, there's no way to dodge the ambulance that comes in later other than dying once, and, like, that's not, that's not a game. That's not, like, inventive gameplay at all. It's just stupid. Um, and the quick time events, there's nothing, like... There's a few campaigns. We played the Leon campaign, which is supposed to be more like the older Resident Evil games, more survival horror-esque. And uh, there's nothing but quick-time events. The whole game is quick-time events. We played for almost 45 minutes. And at first, before we actually got into, like, gameplay. It's it's so bad. I can't even tell, tell you. I wish we had recorded us playing it. Because then you would just know how frustrating and stupid it is. Um... Wow, they did it all. <laughs> There's nothing else for them to get. And this might be a bad idea, actually. I'm just going to forget about Resident Evil 6 forever from now on and never speak of it again. Um, but as far as this goes, this might be something that's good to know. These crops right here, the flax crops, grow incredibly slowly. Um, and... I didn't even think about this. There's a situation where if I have like more than one of them going on an area, they're going to do it really fast. And now there's nothing for them to do because their perceptive range is 10 blocks. And uh, there's nothing harvestable in the 10 block area, so they're not going to move. Like that's over there, but that's more than 10 blocks, so they're not going to go for that. They need something over here to become harvestable. So they run here, and then they'll see that. Um, so that'll be interesting. I don't know what the fastest growing crop is, if there even is a fastest growing crop. I think it actually, I feel like it might be netherwort. <clears throat> so maybe having lots of, uh, netherwort interspersed throughout. If, I feel like netherwort grows pretty quick. I'm going to have to look that up and see what the fastest growing crop is. Because what we'll do is, <clears throat> ooh, I'm joking. <laughs> I hate people who talk with their, uh, need to clear their throats. Boy, I hate it when people do that. Um, so yeah, what well, we're going to need to figure out what the fastest growing crop is and intersperse little bunches of that all throughout so that they, they know, like, to, they'll see it and keep moving around. So, what's up, guys? You doing all right? You guys, I love you guys. You're smart. You're smart, fellas. Maybe we'll bring the guy downstairs up here to hang out with you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do just that. Boink. And a boink. And Iron Golem Strong. <laughs> I 
Dude, I love how they like look at each other. Zuma was hanging on my base the other day. Um, they were live streaming, and then he ended up, and he was just like, you know, AFK in my base for a minute. And the iron, the little, the little golem, just kept looking up at him. Just wanted to be his friend. All right, guys. So we've this was this was great. This is actually exactly what I needed because I needed to learn some of the mechanics of the straw golems. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work off camera doing some of this stuff. But I think this is gonna be it for today's episode. So listen, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always. And as always, hit the like button if you like the video. It really helps us YouTubers out. So thank you for watching. Have a good Sunday, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.